Oh, hey there, superstar. Hello, is this Jersey 1207? Hey man, how are you? This is Scott at Reindeer Studios. So I hear you're a big Daryl Strawberry fan. Nice. Hey, I got a sweet 1988 top superstar sticker I'd like to sell you. You know it's coming from my personal collection and I am the superstar guy, right? So that's gotta be worth two grand. What was that noise? You fell out of your chair? Because I'm giving you such a good deal, right? No? Okay. Well, how about $40 then? No. All right, $40 and a marker doodle. Okay. Yeah, you got yourself a deal, sir. All right. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Lenny, aka Jersey1207, reached out asking if I could draw a Daryl Strawberry Doodle, and I was like, dude, I'm such a rock star, I can draw anything. I can draw a strawberry shortcake wearing Chuck Taylors, breaking into the Bronx Zoo, stealing an orangutan. And he replied, yeah, but I only wanted a drawing of Daryl Strawberry, so I was like, fine, whatever. And that's how we got to this boring old Daryl Strawberry. You guys are no fun. I am totally kidding, of course. I'd much rather draw Daryl than some smelly little doll anyway. Even though he's got too many R's in his name. What do you need all those R's for anyway, Daryl? Save some for the rest of us. Maybe I wanted an R in my name. Ever think of that? On second thought, Scrot doesn't sound so cool. Um, never mind. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Did I even start talking about anything? I think I just started this thing off with complete nonsense. My apologies. So, Daryl played from 83 to 99 for the Mets, Dodgers, Giants, and Yankees, all teams that one time or another played in New York, but Daryl did not play for the Brooklyn Dodgers or the New York Giants, obviously. Um, Eight-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion, NL Rookie of the Year, blah, 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 drug problems, colon cancer, Simpsons appearance. Um, so while we were dating, my wife had this pink Daryl Strawberry model baseball glove. She might still have it, actually. Um, anyway, she was so proud of that glove, and of course, whenever we played catch, I always made fun of her pink glove. I told her it was her strawberry shortcake glove, and it made her throw and catch like a girl, but she defended that glove as if it belonged to Daryl himself. I think at one point I bought her a Ken Griffey Jr. model, but she never liked that as much. Lenny mentioned that he wanted to see something with Daryl's high leg kick, and my favorite Daryl card is his 93 upper deck, so I used that one as reference, but he's in a Dodgers uniform on that. So I put him in a Mets uniform, because when you think Daryl Strawberry, you think New York Mets. It's only right. Hey, it's time for a terrible joke. I looked up Mets jokes, but they were all recycled Yankees jokes, nothing good. And then I thought about telling that dumb pirate joke about R's being a pirate's favorite letter, you know, because Daryl has too many R's in his name. And then I ended up with this gem that has nothing to do with anything, kind of like this video. Um, two windmills are out on a date and one asks the other, what kind of music do you listen to? And that's, that's what a lady windmill sounds like, by the way. And the other windmill says, I'm a big metal fan. There's Daryl, large and in charge, sort of like a kaiju Daryl strawberry monster. Turned out really cool. Two blips closer to my Cy Young card, and I'm having a great time getting there. Thanks, Lenny, for asking me to do this one. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll catch you next time. Ha <laughs> ha